What's up guys, how you doing? Nate back with another pod review and uh, I've got a really interesting one right here. Um, I'm very excited to try it. This here is the Yaki Blue Fawn. Um, this was sent to me, again courtesy of Sean Leach. Thank you very much Sean for sending this pod to me. Really excited to try it. It's an interesting cross. Uh, the Yaki Blue is a cross between a Buccilokia, a uh, Capsicum Chinense, and a Phileas Blue, Capsicum Annulum. Um, now these are known to take a very long time to ripen, and uh, of course ripen from green to a purplish blue color, eventually to an odd almost uh, rust colored red like you see here. Um, towards the tip of the chili you'll notice it's a darker color uh, than up here, and there are veins of an almost uh, purplish that color uh, that remain in it as well. It's a very interesting chili. Uh, it's a little bumpy, a little spiky, not too rough in texture though. It's got a pretty smooth texture actually, um, and a little bit of a uh, of a, that that waxy texture that you get with um, with some uh, capsicum annuum varieties. Um, interesting cross, uh, cool looking chili. Looking forward to trying this. So. Let's cut her open. It's got an interesting aroma. Now take a look inside here. Uh, I will be removing these seeds. Um, you can see one side, uh, not much placenta at all, but there's a placental vein that goes all the way down the center of the chili. Um, the other side, let's flip this around, see if I can get you a better look at it, is pretty much all placenta. Now, towards the tip, like the, uh, the stem, the placental tissue lines the wall of the chili, uh, not so much towards the beak of the pod. Um, there's there's a lot of seeds in here. I'm definitely gonna try and scrape as many of these out as I can, uh, just so I get better representation of the flavor. Uh, now, if you don't know a lot about chilies, um, seeds aren't what makes it hot. It's the placental tissue uh, and the capsaicin gland that really kind of goes down the center uh, that's where the actual heat in a chili is. The seeds seeds really don't have any heat of their own uh, they just since they come out of that oil soaked membrane they're covered in a lot of oil uh, so you may think the seeds are hot but the, the seeds the only heat from the seeds comes from the oil that they've been steeped in the seeds themselves retain they have no heat at all Let's uh, some of these seeds out of here. Because there are a ton of them. Now it's got an interesting aroma too. Like it's um like I can smell some of that boot smokiness and uh floral, but also has a very sweet aroma as well to it. Uh, excited to give this a try. Uh thank you once again, Sean, for sending this to me. Uh, for pain, for science, for glory. Hmm.
That is an interesting flavor. It's um it's more sweet and fruity. There's almost none of that boot flavor at all. Really no heat yet. Oh but I can feel it now. Hmm. It's building in the throat. But very slowly. It's got that ghost pepper creep. The flavor is very good. Gone up the sinuses a little bit. Really kind of just sticking around burning right there. And it's not really a stingy burn. It's a heat burn. And this is one that's working its way up the throat. Another odd one. Really slow build. Keeps getting hotter. Making me salivate a fair amount. Now it's lighting up the tongue. All the way up the sides of the cheeks to the eyes. The worst part of it is right right in that tonsil, like sinus cavity area. So the flavor, <clears throat> it's interesting. Like it has um, some of that boot smokiness. But it has more of a habanero type taste. Sweetness, fruitiness. And there's no habanero in the cross whatsoever. I have never tasted a Phileas Blue, so <clears throat> I can't really accurately judge how much that is affecting the flavor. However, I know what I'm tasting right now, and uh, It really kind of tastes like a uh, 
and mellower, less citrusy, more big fruity, like red habanero. With that boot smokiness. Really, really great tasting pod. It's peaked. Starting to die down now. And uh, it's fading pretty quickly, actually. Just throbbing a bit in the throat. Tongue burn is mostly all gone. Just kind of chilling out by the tonsil sinus cavity right there. Such a slow build on that one. Really slow build. And then it peaks and like that just starts to die. That's a really, really cool chili. Um, flavor. That uh, that has to be one of my one of my new favorite chilies now. That uh, God, that would be an excellent sauce pod. Uh, excellent sauce pod. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten on flavor. Like that, that was that's great. It's just sweet, fruity, hint of smokiness, no floral flavor at all. Great. Just a real round fruity sweetness to it. Excellent. And heat. That that uh, then gets about uh, about seven. Hits the throat pretty hard. Uh, fairly, but it's a it's a really slow build. That one's a creeper. Um, doesn't hit its peak for a long time, and you don't actually feel any heat at all um, for at least the first thirty seconds. Um, then it just slowly sneaks up on you. Um, but great for. Uh, People who want, you know, to have time to enjoy that flavor. Um, that, yeah, that's a that's a seven out of ten on heat. Um, all in all, excellent pepper. Um, I'll uh, post links in the description where you can get seed for this. Uh, this is one you should be growing. Um, really, really impressed with this pepper. Thank you again, Sean, for sending this to me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.